Yeah, please. All right. Well, obviously, uh, uh, congratulations to, um, to UCLA. They uh, they came in here with a, a great plan. Uh, I think Deshaun's doing a great job. Coach Bienemy, the OC, uh, doing doing a lot of really good things. And uh, Garbers, the quarterback, came in the game hot. Hurt us with his feet and his arm. Um, you know, so we're obviously disappointed. That was a tremendous missed opportunity for us. A game that uh, a game that we had every opportunity to win. Even when we got back down, we clawed back in it. Chance at the end and. Uh, uh, didn't make the plays that you need to make. So credit to them. I'm sure you guys have lots of questions. I'm happy to answer them all. Well, why have things seemed so difficult for your offense globally, but also today within the red zone and even in the first half? What, what, what do you think is leading to these struggles? Uh, I think they did, a, they, did a, they did a job, a good job early on of coming out and just all out maxing. Like they were literally bringing four guys in the B gaps and bringing the free safety behind. And... Um, some of the mechanisms we have to handle that are the screen game and are gapping it up, maxing it up, and trying to throw the ball down the field. Um, you know, eventually we got to one with Nayor where, you know, we, he hit them down the field and got them a little bit out of that. Um, but, you know, they took the ball. They went on a long, long, long drive. We went three and out. They went on another long, long, long drive. And we had seen that against Rutgers. We had seen that, you know, that's kind of how they play early on in the first half. Rutgers only had three possessions. Um, we were able to hit the big play. You know, make it a seven nothing game, but I think in general, um, you know, in 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 the passing game, um, when it came to third down and converting third downs, they were just all out zero blitzing us, and we weren't we weren't answering it the way that you need to. And um, um, once we you know you, you, you finished the game like nine of seventeen on third down, I can't tell you in the first half at one point it was like one for a lot, so we struggled. Made the adjustment in the second, you know. Well, we made the adjustment early. We got it, you know, kind of finally taken care of in the second half, and we were able to stay on the field more. Um, and then, you know, down in the red zone, uh, um, you know, the first time down there we scored, obviously, right? So that was, you know, we were good there. Uh, really, the, the one before the half um, put the ball in the two. You know, um, we've been running the power play. You know, we lost Barrett, so we put Elijah Judy in at fullback. He was doing a great job. He went down. So um, just kind of really more a matter of a couple times bodies and then um, uh, just finding a play to get in. You know, um, they, were, they maxed us again, zeroed us up, and we just didn't withstand it. So um, in terms of everything that went wrong, you know, in the first half I came in to, to, to the guys, Sam in the locker room, I said, you know, that's about a bad, as bad a half of football as you could withstand between the offense and the defense, and yet it was 13-7. So I thought we were excited to go out and play in the second half and then unfortunately had that pick six, but still crawled back into it. So um, I think there's a lot of things that you know, we have to continue to, to work on. What do they do in the first quarter to kind of tip the scale so much? 21 plays to year three, four or five on third downs. What were they doing to get you so off balance as a defense? Because we didn't see that last week against a team on paper in Ohio State that obviously most would consider a pretty elite off. Yeah, they, they've done that. You know, this team, UCLA coming in, you know, they went down the field and scored on the first drive against Rutgers. I believe they scored on the first drive against Minnesota. You know, they're, they're kind of – they have a veteran quarterback who's kind of finding his rhythm in that offense. Um, and they won on third down versus man. You know, they threw the shallow cross. They threw the corner route. We were able to hold them to a field goal. But we just couldn't get off the field um, early on in that drive on, – on that, on that series. Um, and then the second time through, you know, we really couldn't get off the field as well. Uh, as I told the guys, when I, when I kind of pulled them all up, <clears throat> it was you know we, we had a sack, we just kind of fell off him. He ran out, you know we had another one where, where we blitz five and uh, he went up in the eight gap, went for about sixty yards. So a lot of little things that don't really aren't really about talent, but just about us kind of making the play that's there to be made. And um, I thought we settled down a little bit after that, uh, but uh, you know I think Garber's legs hurt us, and uh, but we came into it knowing like hey they, you know they they. Um, They've, they've moved well early. The key to people has been, you know, wearing them down in the fourth quarter. Like, that game was a carbon copy of their Minnesota game where Minnesota got the ball back and went down the field. They just they just made one more play to uh, to win the game. And, uh, unfortunately, you know, Heinrich makes the fourth down stop. We get down there, then we, you know, we take a penalty. We lose the time, and we don't, you know, we don't, we don't make the plays. That, that penalty, the uh, pick six on the first play of the third quarter, how difficult was that to withstand? And, and do, do you think that Dylan was – did he miss the, did not see the linebacker? And, and, and also, was, was that an issue with him as far as not seeing things downfield at times during the game? Well, yeah, I think, you know, he was under duress in the first half. And I think, um, 
any young quarterback coming out of that would probably start to you know, see a lot. You know, the old saying, you see a lot, you see a little, you see a little, you see a lot. I think he wasn't real comfortable. Um, you know, I won't speak for him, but with all the things he was saying, I don't think he was real comfortable. No, that was a that was a play action pass to Thomas down the middle of the field, into cover two, and uh, I mean, he was running he was running free. It was going to be an explosive play, and uh, in behind it is an in cut, and he just uh, threw the you know threw the in cut. So um, credit to him. I thought after that, you know, he settled down. We found some run game, and uh, again, a lot of that was a lot of that was kind of what we had seen people do against them. Right? They they withstand the early storm from UCLA and their script, and then you kind of make the plays to get back in the game. Unfortunately, that pick six. And really, the missed opportunity down the red zone on the first time um, that, uh, that that hurt us and set it apart. On that last touchdown drive, I know it was a little hectic with Dylan getting hurt and whatnot. But were you okay with the pace, or did you want your offense to kind of pick up the pace? Yeah, you know, my my philosophy has been in those situations like you're in a two for one situation, so you want to score before the two minute. So at four thirty, I know I know everyone was kind of upset. The crowd was, you know, I think at one point higher to you know try to get everyone to calm down. I understand why. Um, but we knew, you know, we had two timeouts. We had the two-minute conversion. We wanted to get in the right plays. Again, you know, some of those things, uh, Ramir Johnson went down. Elijah Judy went down. The quarterback went down. So trying to get the right people in the game to run some of those red zone plays, you know, was a little bit difficult. Um, and then with what they do, right, you know, you're getting up there and it's either cover two or zero blitz. So you, you're, you're kind of having to check some things. So, um, But in the end, you know, it worked, right? We scored the touchdown. We scored it with 3.20 left. We got, we stopped them. They punted the ball back to us, and we had 2.30, and we had a chance to go down and score. And um, in this league, you know, if you have the ball at the end, the chance to go score and tire win a game, that's Big Ten football. And, um, you know, we just uh, we just didn't make the plays. Once you cross the 50, you have to make. And obviously that penalty was big. Did Dylan decide on his own to go back in the game there for a second, or did you guys clear him to go back in? And then Well, we would, yeah, I mean, the doctors clear those guys, right? So I think... You know, once the doctor said he was cleared, I mean, I just saw him running in. I didn't, I wasn't part of anything saying, hey, let's get Dylan in here. I think once he went through whatever testing they had, he went to run out. And then, um, and then, uh, you know, obviously that just felt the pain again and just said, hey, I can't do this. So, did you have a sense of what the, where the injury was or what caused it? Was it just the hit? I think it was the hit to his back. Yeah, I think it was his back. How tough is this going into the bye week now? I mean, you had an opportunity, obviously, today to get to number six. Now you got another whole week to think about this. I mean, how, how do you move forward from something like today? Um, I mean, you, you, you just you just try to dominate tomorrow. I mean, you know, it, it is what it is. I mean, it's so it was a tremendous missed opportunity. You know, it's a game that we um, it's a game that you know, despite everything that happened early on, we weathered the storm and had a chance to go in. And um, you know, now we uh, now we have to battle back. So. You know, it's the same question, you know, you guys asked me after Indiana. I said, hey, we'll be back. You know, I expect us to be back. You know, along the way, some, you know, obviously when something like that, you know, today happens and, you know, the people are going to be disgruntled. You're, you're going to hear things and the players are going to hear things. And that's all part of it, right? That's all part of that's all part of when you lose a game like this. And so, you know, I have my, if I was in if I was in the stands today, I'd be I'd be frustrated. You know, I know a lot of guys probably in the locker room are frustrated because they know we're better than that. Right. And um, but. You know, we are where we are, and you have to just uh, you just have to play yourself back into it. And we have three more opportunities to go play football. We've got some great, great, great seniors that you know I know want to win one, if not two or three. And um, that's what we'll have to do. I know you guys have a standard. Players talk about having a standard on defense, and it felt like last week you played with that, but maybe two of the last three games maybe didn't play with that in the first half. Do you have a sense of why that maybe hasn't quite been there in the Indiana and in this game? Well, I think you know sometimes you know you have to give credit to the other team. You know, I mean, uh, you know they um, you know they scored 35 points the last time they played, coming off a bye. Um, I thought they 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 threw and caught. You know, it wasn't like a game other than that one crack toss. It wasn't a game like we didn't tackle. Um, we had some opportunities on the quarterback, and then we started making some plays late. You know, after that pick six, you know, I thought the rest. You know, you know we come out the first drive of the second half. We have the pick six. I thought the defense after that. You know, they did give up you know one score, but I thought they they hung in there. But I think a lot of credit has to go to UCLA and their, their, their passing game and the things that they did and quarterback making plays. Um, and, uh, you know, Tommy got back out there. You know, he, had, he, he went and played. So, um, yeah, I don't think this was – this was, didn't feel like, you know, they weren't trying or anything like that. It just, you know, this was a good, this was a good offense today. And, you know, I told them – I prepared them. It was 17-17 against LSU. And late in the third quarter, going into the fourth quarter, just LSU made the plays in the fourth quarter. And 
I wanted to get to the fourth quarter and make more plays than they did. And, um, you know, we just we came close, but we just didn't do it. Pat, uh, after last week, we talked championship mindset and, and what have you. And no matter how ready they were to play today, how much did that first quarter kind of suck the life out of you? Because it was tough to get into a flow when you eventually did get the ball. Yeah, you know, um, <clears throat> um, you know, that, that, I, I hate to, I just don't want to say that because I don't want to like make an excuse like just the, the blocks, the plays, like they just weren't good enough, you know, like we just didn't do enough good plays. Like when a guy made a play, like uh, Ja'Cory made that amazing catch, right? Nayor makes that amazing catch, but Dante had some good runs. All of a sudden now that leads to points. Uh, when you don't do those things, you know, you're not going to score. And so, um, you know, um, I think I thought, I thought you know credit to UCLA they made some more plays than we did and and uh, I don't want to make any excuses about hey we didn't have the ball or anything like that you know at the end of the day we had our opportunities and we had our opportunities and you know even you know going down to the very end of the two minute you know we we, we didn't quite execute you know getting out of bounds and lining up cor correctly I mean it's it's hard to win the Big Ten if you're not going to line up correctly in two minute you know so and that's not just about that one play there's lots of plays you go back through the day so um, you know. All you can do, if you're me and our players, is just go back to work and just keep grinding and um, uh, try to get a little bit better at it. You, you mentioned you mentioned um, getting to the fourth quarter and making more plays. Do you do you what kind of thought do you give about the way that you've started games the last the last three times out? Obviously, the defense played well last week at the start, but you know, tentative <clears throat> offensively the last couple. It's and even even in Indiana, it hasn't been you know coming out with your with your hair on fire at the beginning of the yeah, game. Do you see correlation there? Yeah, I think a lot of that, you know, again, goes back to third down. Um, you know, the football coach in me wants to say one thing, but I, I never want to come across as an excuse. You know, you're playing these teams coming off buys, and they're they're doing different things against you, right? They've studied you for two weeks, and they study themselves, and they're coming out, and they're throwing something new at you. And I think, you know, you, you, you get a series in, you kind of settle everyone down. But, you know, we, we have – I mean, this wasn't good enough. You have to play better than this. You have to come out, and you have to make plays, and you can't ease your way into it, you know. Um, you know, Jacory made a couple of big plays that that you know really uh, really allowed us to move the ball down the field. But um, yeah, we've got to we've got to do more early. Um, but with that being said, you know we we we've pulled our way back into it. Um, and uh, but uh, you know, there's I mean, there's a lot of areas obviously Mitch that that uh, need to be better to have a chance to win these games. Given given that you know Dylan, it's easy that seen hurt. You know now you you do get a bye week. How much energy do you put into getting him right? But simultaneously, now you got to think about a, another quarterback behind Heinrich. Do you know off the top of your head who that who that person? Is? Oh yeah, it'd be Dan. I mean, if something would happen tonight. Danny would have gone in there and played. Um, you know, uh, we get four quarterbacks ready. You know, Danny and Jalen, they're always ready to go. And um, you know, for for a really a really a difficult situation to be thrust into, you know, Heinrich, you know, he made enough plays to have a chance. Now. You know, they were in cover two and, and, and not rushing. So when we held up in the rush, he was able to push the ball down the field. Um, but, uh, but, yeah, no, I think, uh, I think uh, Dan, Danny, you know, if, if Danny's called upon, we expect Danny to go play well. All right, Thank thanks, you. guys.